Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turbo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will try to solve practice problems with regards to quadrilaterals. So itong topic natin, or yung magiging content ng ating video, ay more on practice problems ng parallelograms and different types of parallelograms, trapezoids. So, try natin, di ba? So we have here, in example number one, we are given the parallelogram A, B, C, D. And we are asked to find side FD. So, this is your parallelogram A, B, C, D. As you can see, meron tayong representation for side AB, which is 2x plus 12. Same with DC, which is 5x minus 18. And yung ating side CB is represented by 3x minus 6. Ngayon, in this video, sa kabuha ng video na to, ang trick nyo naman dito, or pinaka-technique lang naman dito guys, is alalahanin nyo yung different properties ng mga quadrilaterals na, na, na pag-aralan nyo sa grade 9. So basically, since ito ay parallelogram, automatic, ang iisipin mo, anong property ng parallelogram ang, ang applicable para makatulong sa atin at mahanap natin yung length ng DA. So, as you can see, eto yung nawawala. This is for DA. Pero ang given natin ay yung ibang sides. So ngayon, paano natin nahanapin? First step, is to think about the property which is opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So we are given, so we can say that DC is equal to AB. Kasi nga opposite sides are congruent. So if DC is equal to AC, we can use these representations to create an equation, a working equation. So let's say your DC is 5x minus 18 while your AB is 2x plus 12. Ngayon, di ba 2x plus 12 siya? We can solve this by transposing 2x on the other side. It will give you 5x minus 2x is equal to, when you transpose negative 18 to the other side, it will give you 18 plus 12. It became positive kasi sa kabila, negative siya. Okay? Simplifying this, it will give you 3x is equal to 30. And ang target natin is makuha yung x. So dividing both sides by 3. Your x is equal to 10. Sir, anong purpose nito para mahanap natin yung nawawalang side DA? As you can see guys, uh, yung DA natin is opposite to your CB. Meaning they're equal. Kung ano yung uh, le length ni DA, siya din yung length ni CB. And remember, your CB is represented by 3x minus 6. So, pwede na natin sabihin dito that CB is also equal to DA. So, we can have DA is equal to 3x minus 6. Kasi na sila eh, opposite sides sila eh. So, they are congruent or they are equal in terms of measurement. Substituting the value of x, which is 10, makuha natin yung length ni DA. So, this is 3 times 10 minus 6 Simplifying this, it will give you 30 minus 6, and your DA is simply 24 units. Ganun yung, ano, yung mismo sistema para masolve natin yung missing side of this given parallelogram. Now for item number 2, we are given parallelogram L-O-V-E, and we are asked to find angle D. So basically guys, as you can see, in our parallelogram LOVE or parallelogram love, ang mga given parts natin dito ay yung representation ng measurement na angles V and angle O. Ngayon sir, paano nga ba ulit pwede ma-solve yung ganyang klase ng problem? We can solve this problem using the property that consecutive angles are supplementary because angle O and angle V are supplementary angles. Sir, ano po yung relationship ulit nila? When you say supplementary, guys, uh, the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So knowing that your angle D plus your angle O, they're equal to 180. Okay? So nabi natin ngayon dito, we will try to get 
uh, this algebra expression, 3x plus 4, to replace v. So you have 3x plus 4, and then plus your angle O, which is 5x. So you have 5x is equal to 180. And combining like terms, alam naman natin, di ba, kapag parehas na merong variable, yung kalang exponent ay parehas, we can combine 3x and 5x, and it will become 8x plus 4. That is equal to 180. Okay? So ngayon, transpose natin sa kabila to, itong 4 natin, it will give you 8x is equal to 180 minus 4. And simplifying this, your 8x is equal to 176. And then, syempre, para makuha natin yung value ng x, kasi kailangan natin makuha yung x, eh, para makuha natin yung angle, oh, that angle D. This is angle, sorry, this is angle V. Yan. So, divided by 8, divide natin by 8, cancel, cancel, it will give you x is equal to 176 divided by 8. Di ba lang naman natin ng 160 divided by 8 is 20. At meron ko pa 16. Meaning this is equal to 22. Ito yung value ng x natin. At balikan mo ngayon yung problem. Find angle V. Remember that angle V is equal to 3x plus 4 degrees. Your x is equal to 22. You can replace x here. So it will become 3, 3 times 22 plus 4 degrees. And simplify mo lang to, it will give you 66 plus 4. Tama? Degrees. And syempre, ang yung angle V is equal to 70 degrees. Ito ngayon yung value or measurement ng inyong angle V. That's it for example number 2. Now for item number 3 naman, we are given the diagonals of rectangle ABCD intersect at E. So we have diagonal AC and diagonal BD of rectangle ABCD. At yung kanilang point of intersection ay yung point E. Okay? Yan yung, yung kanilang point of intersection. Sabi dito, your AE is equal to X plus 4 while your CE is equal to 3x minus 12. And we are asked to find BD. Ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung BD, yung diagonal BD. So ngayon, um, ito yung tip ko sa mga bata na gusto ng ganitong klaseng problem, is that kung meron tayong mga representation ng given parts of a quadrilateral, ilagay natin sa ating, uh, sa ating figure. And so for example, your AE is X plus 4. Your CE is 3x minus 12. Sabi, find BD. Okay? So, alam naman natin that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Diba? Alam natin na yung AC at yung BD ay para sa ng measurement. So, para makuha natin yung measurement ng diagonal BD, kailangan makuha natin yung measurement ng diagonal AC. At another thing about these two diagonals, they are bisecting each other. Ibig sabihin, kapag yung ating AC ay dinaanan ni BD, nahati niya into two equal parts. So, sa property yon, we can say, or we can create an equation like your AE is equal to CE. Okay? Since AE is equal to CE, we can replace this 2 by x plus 4 is equal to 3x minus 12. So, kung gabing ko dito, I will transpose x on the other side while your negative 12 ay lipat natin sa kabilang side then. So, it will become 4 plus 12. Since negative 2, pag nilipat natin siya, it will become positive. At yung variable x naman natin, yung 3x natin, original din sa kanan siya. And pag tinanispose mo yung x sa kabilang side naman, it will become negative x or minus x. And simplify mo lang yan, 3x minus x is equal to 2x, tapos yung iyong 4 plus 12 is equivalent to 16. Diba? Ngayon, 
target natin is makuha yung x, so it will become um, divided by 2, divided by 2, cancel natin, your x is equal to 8. Okay? So ito yung value ng x natin. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi yung x natin ay part lang ng mga representations ng AE sa kanyang EC. Kasi E. So gawin natin ngayon, uh, kuha natin, kunin natin yung value ng AE na lang. AE. AE is equal to x plus 4. And remember, your x is equal to 8. So you can replace this x by 8. So 8 plus 4 na yan. That is your AE. And then simplifying this, your AE is equal to 12. So 12 yan. So itong x plus 4 natin, burahin natin to, magiging 12 siya. Okay? At since itong AE saka CE natin are equal, itong 3x minus 12 natin is also equal to 12. So, add mo lang naman yung measurements nila, it will give you the measurement of AC. Which is yung AC natin ngayon is 12 plus 12, your diagonal AC is simply 24. Ibig sabihin, if 24 yung AC mo, itong BD is also 24 because they are equal with AC. So, ang sagot natin ngayon is 24. Okay? So, I hope na natutunan mo yung problem natin about um, rectangle. Dito naman, di ba sa number 1, yung sa parallelogram natin, una natin hinanap ay yung uh, side ng isang parallelogram. And in the next problem, another parallelogram, wherein ang involved naman ay yung consecutive angles. Tapos ito naman, rectangle natin, yung diagonals naman ang nawawala. In the next part of our video, ang involved naman na problem na isolve natin is all about trapezoid. Now, for the last part ng ating content today, it's all about a trapezoid. So, we are given a number 4, trapezoid A, B, C, D, and then we are asked to find F, E. So, given this figure, as you can see, yung ating F, E is the median of trapezoid A, B, C, D. Ngayon, sir, paano isolve yung dalawang yan? Ay yung F, E natin or E, F natin. So, isipin natin that your EF is a median. Ano bang sinasabi? Ano ba yung natin about the median of a trapezoid? Sabi doon, the length or the measurement of the median of your trapezoid is equal to the half of the sum of your upper and lower bases. So, given that theorem or property, pwede natin, gum pwede natin gumawa ng working equation natin in which your EF, since EF yung hinahanap mo, your EF is equal to the sum of your to the half of the sum of your upper and lower bases. So you have CD plus AB over 2 or times 1 half. Okay? So gagawin mo naman dito, kunin mo ngayon yung value ng CD which is your CD is 2x minus 2 tapos plus mo plus your AB which is 3x minus 4 over 2 at punta mo yung, yung EF in which your EF is represented by 2x minus 1 ah sorry 2x plus 1 tapos sir paano isolve to? fraction siya yan tayo eh takot kayo sa fraction di ba? so gagawin natin ngayon we will try to cross multiply cross multiply tayo in which mayroon siyang invisible 1 na denominator it will become 2x plus 1 times di pa natin ito na konti adjust adjust times 2, kasi 2 times 2 yan, is equal to your numerator, add natin to ha, nakalimutan kong i-add eh, um, 2x plus 3x, that will give you 5x, and negative 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 6, okay? And then times 1, ito pa rin siya. Dito naman, since meron tayong parenthesis, ang ibig sabihin niyan is you need to multiply. So, distributed property lang, 2 times 2x, it will give you 4x, and then 2 times 1, that is plus 2. So equals to 5x minus 6. Okay? So ngayon, sir, ano next step natin? Ang next step natin is to isolate the variable. So you have the 4x and 5x. Pwede natin i-transpose 5x sa left side of the equation. Pero sa akin, uh, para maging positive yung variable natin, ililipat ko na lang si 4x sa kabila. While your negative 6x will be transposed to the other side, and it will become... 6 plus 2. Remember, negative 6, ilipat mo, transpose mo, it will become positive. 
And for the 5x, copy lang natin, and then minus 4x. Okay? Tapos, simplify natin, your x is equal to 8. Ayun yung value ng x natin. Pero, hindi pa tayo tapos. Remember, ang sabi dito, find EF. Ang EF natin is equivalent to 2x plus 1. Kasi yung x natin is only a part of your median EF. So, lagay mo dito, EF is equal to 2x plus 1. And your x is equal to 8. Remember, so substitute natin yung value ng ating x. It will become 2 times 8 plus 1. And simplifying this, it will give you 16 plus 1. And finally, yung haba ng median natin is equivalent to 17. Ayan ngayon yung ating EF. Now sir, um, pwede ba natin pakabahin ito ng konti? Tapos na tayo. Tapos na tayo. Tapos na yung ating yung ating uh, pagsagot. Ngayon, i-prove natin na yung length ng ating median is half of the sum of your upper and lower bases. If this is 17, ito ay 17, di ba? 17. Ngayon, try natin substitute yung ating x sa 8. Ay, yung x natin dito, which is 8. So, 2 times 8, that will give you 16, right? 16. Minus 2, that will give you 14. So, ang DC natin has the length of 14. Remember? 14 siya. Ngayon, ngayon puntahan natin yung ating lower base. Yung ating lower base is represented by 3x minus 4. And your x is equal to 8, so 3 times 8, it will give you 24. Minus 4, that is 20. Okay? So sabi kanina, uh, the length of your median, or the median, is equal to the half of the sum of your upper and lower base. Ngayon, i-add natin yung upper at yung lower base natin. 14 plus 20, that is 34. And then, try to divide it by 2, or multiply it by 1 half, it will give you 17. So, again, 20 plus 14 is 34, divided by 2, that is 17. So, I hope na natutunan mo yung different problems natin about quadrilaterals. And sana, kapag na-encounter mo yung gantong klase ng mga problems, isipin mo agad, anong property yung applicable para ma-solve mo yung problem. So, I hope natuto ka sa ating lecture today. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At i-hit mo na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!